Hello everyone. In this video series, we will be learning about bills of exchange. Now, first we will understand why bills of exchange the concept came and what is it? What is bills of exchange? We will say our concept number one, the introduction of bills of exchange. Now, understand this. Suppose there is a particular person A and B. Okay. Now A sells goods to B. A sells goods to whom? To B. Okay, sir. Sold. Now there can be three cases at the time of payment. What that can be? Suppose now B have to make the payment to A. What B says? Okay. First thing is. I will pay you right now. Pay now to A. Then there is no problem. If B pays now to A, then there is no problem. Now second point is B says that I will pay you after one month. And A agrees. A says. Okay, fine. Even if you are paying after one month, that is also okay. There is no problem. Then, sir, when does the problem come? Problem comes when B says that I will pay after one month. B says that I will pay after one month, and A denies. A says no. I want the payment right now only. Then. Now A is saying, "Give me the payment." B is saying, "I do not have money. I do not have cash at my office. I do not have money in my bank account also. How will I pay you the money?" Then A says, "You have to make the payment right now. I don't know any drama." Now what B says, "Okay, fine. If you want the payment now, what can we do? You tell me." Now what does A say? A says, "See, I." I will prepare a document and you have to sign it. You have to say that okay. You will pay me after two months. Now you will say, sir. Even then, he is not getting any payment right now. He will get the payment after two months. But the thing here is, it will become a proof of A that he has to take the money from B. Understand this part. What happens? A will prepare a document. A will prepare a document, and that's why we say A will become the. Drawer of the document, the person who draws the document. We can say a person who makes the document, but in accounting terms, we say a person who draws the document. So, who is drawing the document? A is drawing the document. So, for us, A becomes the drawer because he is the person who makes the contract. In this contract, we say makes the bill. Okay, and B will accept that bill. B has to accept. No, B accepts the bill because B accepts. It means that okay, B says okay, I will pay you after one month. B accepts. That's why we call him drawee. Understood? Or you can say the person who accepts, acceptor or anything. Now, drawee. If A is making the bill, he is the drawer. He will write all the details that I have sold him this this goods on this this date, and B is supposed to make me payment after one month, and then. B has to accept. A will also sign, and B will also sign, and this document becomes valid. But sir, why this document is so important? See, if A has this document, and suppose they have said in the document that he has to receive the payment after one month. But suppose after three or four days, A needs money. A can go to the bank, give the bank this document, and take the money from the bank itself. Now, if he is taking the money from the bank, what can happen? A will tell bank C, I had to receive money from B. You go to the B and take the money, sir. Why will bank involve in this transaction? C, suppose A sold goods worth one lakh. Okay, when A goes to the bank, right? Bank will not give him entire one lakh. Bank will give him ninety five thousand, ninety six thousand. Bank will cut their commission of four thousand or five thousand, whatever is their rate, and that's why that is the benefit of the bank. And then after one month, bank will go to the B, and then they will get the payment. Now you might be thinking, sir, that sir, there can be a case that B does not pay. 
that all the cases we will be discussing in this chapter in later videos okay right now what we are supposed to understand what is the legal definition of bills of exchange now understand this what is bills of exchange what we have understood till now that why bills of exchange came into the picture why bills of exchange came into the picture because b says that i will not pay i will pay after one month but a is saying no i want the payment right now when the seller wants the payment right now and the buyer says no i cannot give the payment right now so buyer will agree to the bill and that bill is called as bill of exchange now what is bills of exchange let's understand it is a it is a negotiable instrument sir what is negotiable instrument see the english word negotiable means transferable transferable means transferable means the person who has the bill he can transfer it to the third party like in our example a has the bill a transferred the bill to the bank and took the money from bank now bank will go and take the money from b why because it is written on the bill also that the person whoever holds this bill he will become the owner or you can say that ram would have a would have transferred the document to the bank he has to sign some documents and that document can be transferred it is just like any other property you can transfer your property you can transfer this bill also now the instrument means a document approved by our government of india and which can be used as a currency what are the few examples of negotiable instrument examples of negotiable instrument can be such that like say check because check is also negotiable instrument you can transfer your check anywhere b demand draft the concept of demand draft has become very old even after coming online payment very less usage of demand draft has been seen now c is bills of exchange and this is what our chapter will talk about and the point number d covers promissory note these are just few examples for negotiable instrument check demand draft bills of exchange and promissory note our focus will be on bills of exchange understood bills of exchange is what that if the person doesn't have any money at that particular time then he has to sign a particular document the person who prepares the document is called as drawer the person who accepts is called as drawee we'll understand more about bills of exchange with the journal entries aspect in the next video thank you so much